Greetings fellow post producers and welcome to a new installment of Marquis Technologies tutorial series. In this new episode we're gonna talk about how Mist and Rain can handle RAW files that originated in an Ari Alexa camera. Mist and Rain can also handle D20, D21, Alexa V2 and Alexa V3 RAW file types. Row file types can be brought from the library and dropped on the timeline like any other file. The difference resides in the great panel in the raw tab. In this panel you're gonna find all the file metadata parameters and they can be changed and adjusted according to your needs. In addition to the metadata found in the file, you have another panel where you can change or add shot metadata ranging from name, rating, real tape, to daily roll, scene and take. This data will be available when you choose to render out file types that support it, like for example the popular format MXF DNX HD, very useful when you choose to export dailies from your Ari Alexa files. Now if we are the subject of generating dailies, another time-saving feature that is found in the row tab together with all the row parameters is the ability to load lookup tables. So if you generated the look and exported it as a lookup table, you can copy it in the loot folder inside Mist or Rain and you'll be able to see it in the lookup table drop down menu and select it. And like this you'll be able to save huge amounts of time especially when on set when you have huge time constrictions. Now let's play a little bit with the media. As a note, there is another tutorial that covers the handling of Phantom Row files by using Mist and Rain. In that tutorial I showed you how to handle grouped clips, modify one parameter and have it applied on the entire set of clips that you grouped. In here I'm going to show you a different approach in this case. This approach involves the event viewer. You can select clips in the event viewer by using the mouse and all you need to do is press the control key on the keyboard and use the left mouse button to select clips. Alternatively, you can use the control A shortcut to select all the clips on your timeline. The only thing left to do is turn on gang and this tells Mr. Rain to that when I modify a parameter it needs to get applied on my entire selection. Now that Gang is active for my selection, I can start modifying parameters. I can choose to downsample my files, the resolution of my files from the native resolution to 2K or HD. Or I can choose to change the color space, gamma, or modify all the color science parameters all while in playback without affecting the playback speed. I can even browse through the lookup tables while in real-time playback without affecting the speed at all. This power comes from the proprietary GPU-driven debearing engine called Mosaic implemented by Marquis Technologies in Mist and Rain in order to increase the decoding performance of RAW files. This is all for today. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. Cheers!